and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for April 22. This one is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. And in the next one I will be covering the top assets and effects. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And if you need some assets, there's three sales happening right now. There's a sale on the Sinti store, everything at 50% off, all of them in their gorgeous low poly style, tons of themes, and for the next 3 days the kids pack is at 70% off, and next week is the western pack. Then on the Unity Asset Store Spring Sale, 500 of the best selling assets are on sale up to 80% off, lots of great stuff including almost everything I've covered in my asset review series. And finally there's also a humble bundle with a massive pack over 7000 icons for 95% off. So if you need anything for whatever game you're currently working on, then check out those links. Alright, so starting off with a very interesting hexagon generator. Easily generate giant hexagon worlds. There's a bunch of tiles, including some water, and it also generates varying height, so all of your worlds can have mountains. The whole thing works with scriptable objects, so everything is really flexible. If instead of an entire world you just want to generate a simple room, then look at this one. Personally, I really dislike having to manually place all of the props, so these tools are always interesting. You just define the props and then play around with tons of settings and look at your brand new room. If you use some outside props, like bushes and trees, you can even build a really nice outside environment. The results look great and it even works for multi-story buildings. Then a simple but useful one, a autocomplete drop-down menu. Works with any text mesh pro field, you can add a drop down menu, then just start typing and it will show you all of the matching objects. This was specifically made to handle really big databases whilst being very performant, so I can see this as being really useful if your game has tons of items, weapons or really just objects of any kind. Then something else also pretty simple, a nice image blur. It's a UI element that blurs everything behind it. So if you don't like having solid colors in your UI, then this one would be a great upgrade. It definitely looks much better in the demo, and it's really easy to use. Just add the component and it works. Super simple. Then if you want a more complex tool for building terrains, look at this one. The demo shown in the trailer looks really gorgeous. It's got a really high resolution terrain, pretty much every short is really gorgeous, tons of unique biomes. You can easily create stamps and then stamp them on your terrain, add some paths for your player to move, or maybe just a river. It also includes over 50 pre-built stamps, so for non-artists like me, that's really useful. Up next, for something very specific, if you have some extremely valuable proprietary source code, then a tool like this can make sense. It basically obfuscates all of your code, making it really hard for anyone to read it. So it just turns all of the text, function names, everything into jargon. Definitely a niche tool, they've been building this one for 5 years, so it must be good at what it does. If you're looking for a complete game template, look at this one. It's about making a vehicle factory game. There's tons of simple game templates, but this one doesn't look quite interesting. You basically drag and drop all of the various parts to create a vehicle and then use it in a run. It's a fun concept, and if you want to learn how a system like this would work, you can also look at my Spaceship Builder game. Then a tool that describes itself as an extreme tracing tool. It captures a log of every single thing that happens in your game. You can watch it working in real time. You can see what called what, with what parameters, when it happened and so on. Really tons of detail, so if you have issues with debugging, then having this much information might be help. Up next, if you're working in VR, here's a photography kit. It's really quite interesting. You can basically create your own high-end photography studio directly in VR. So you can physically pick up a camera, place it anywhere, you can grab some lights, change with the color, FOV and so on, pick up a second monitor, position your subject and so on. So it looks like it would be really fun just to play around with this one. Or you could possibly use it even in a non-VR game, just to go inside the game and take some really great screenshots of your models. And over here we have another useful tool called Asset Cleaner. Like the name implies, it helps you clean up your project folder, so easily find all of the assets that are not being used and purge them with a single click. If you're in the habit of importing tons of assets when you just need a single one, then this can be quite useful to keep your project from ballooning in size. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for April 22. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.